Hey everyone, so today I'm doing a Tigress inspired from the Mockingjay Part 2 movie. And yeah, you can just use this as a regular tiger or you can be Tigress as well. So first I'm starting off with my Wolf FX um, water activated paint palette like I always do. And I'm using the orange from that palette and just putting in the placements. You can kind of just see it's kind of hard to describe where to put the orange. Then taking the white and a dual fiber brush, I am just feathering those out on the edges and making hair texture on the edges of so there's no harsh lines. And I'm just putting those everywhere, putting the white everywhere that I didn't put the orange. Then just taking yellow from the same palette and I'm just kind of taking the dual fiber brush and just lightly stippling that all over my face, wherever the orange was to break up the color so it wasn't just straight up Tigger orange. Then I'm just taking orange again just to break it up the color even more. But yeah, I'm just doing that all over and then white around the mouth again just to blur out the edges and make it a little more softer. And then tapping it out with my finger like always to blur out the edges even more and blend them in. Then I'm taking pink from the same palette and a very tiny, tiny, tiny pencil brush and then I'm just putting that on my nose. Again, you can kind of look and kind of just do this or you can look up a picture of a tiger or anything you'd like. I just went with a pink nose today because I just kind of felt like it. The picture I was going off of for a regular tiger, it had a pink nose. So I'm just doing that first and then making sure I go all the way around my nose just so it is uniform all the way around. And then bringing the pink down a little bit into a little like rectangle shape on the bottom of my nose. And then I'm just taking black with a very, very, very tiny brush and extending my nostril holes so they look a little bit more like cat-like I guess and I'm literally just lightly putting this around my nostril holes so yes this brush does touch the inside of your nose but it doesn't really matter guys it really doesn't and then just taking a flat top liner brush I am just taking the black and then outlining everything and then just going around everything just to make it look a little bit more deeply or something like that and then I'm um, taking a wet brush that I use this technique in my leopard tutorial as well I am just blurring out the edges by lifting I guess and blurring out the black with a wet brush then I'm just making the line connecting my nose to my mouth and I'm just bringing that down the center of my cupid's bow and then making a tiny, tiny, tiny little line in the middle where that rectangle is. Then I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm just taking the black paint again and I'm making a giant wing as well as an inner corner wing and filling everything in with black. So different from the leopard tutorial, everything for the eye will be black and there will be no white showing. And then just doing that for the other eye. First I started off with a lighter wing and lighter, um, like a less heavy eyeliner at first, but then I deepened it up a little bit later, like right now. Then I'm shaking black again and just connecting those lines just to make it a little bit more cat-like, I guess. And I'm just thickening it up as I go and try to make it as even as I can. Then I'm just starting off with showing you how I did the hair texture around the face. So I did change it up a little bit after this. I was going off of a picture, but I'm just kind of like mapping out where I want everything first. And then I decide to change what I'm doing. Because then I'm doing now the other 
winged eyeliner on the other side. I've already done one half of my face and then I'm just going to show you how to do it. I literally just took a pencil brush and made the lines corresponding and irregular as before, making them through my eyebrow as well and just making straight up lines for this first part. Then I'm just taking the same technique almost as I did for the nose. And I'm just taking water or a little bit more black paint and just feathering it out on each side of the line. Just to make it softer so it's not just a straight line. It also kind of mimics hair texture in a sense from far away. It just looks a lot cooler than just having lots and lots of straight lines and like basic lines with no depth or texture in it as the eyebrow went through a little bit harder and they did blur into each other a little bit too much, but you can always fix that. It's not that hard. As you can see, I'm putting white in between where the eyebrow ones are because it was just getting a little bit too muddy in there. And then just going through for the rest of my face and doing it. For the ones close to my hairline, I did bring the black line closer into my hairline. <laughs> Now after all that painting, let's move on to fake eyelashes because why not? I'm just using the same Joe Fresh ones as I use it in every single tutorial, so just putting those on like regular and then just applying mascara afterwards and then mascara heavily on my bottom lash line as well. If I can ever get these eyelashes on because they were just being a pain in my ass today. As you can see, I painted my neck already with the orange, and I started doing the lines for the tiger stripes onto my chest. I am wearing a top. It is just a tank top folded down, so that's why you can't see it. But I'm just doing the same technique all the way down my neck. I'm just not putting any white. I'm just keeping it orange and black just to kind of go with what I wanted to do for the day, I guess. So I'm just doing the one side of my body first and then the second side afterwards. You could easily do these stripes all over your body, just on your arms, on your legs, anything you want like that. For the purpose of the video, I only did onto my chest because it would be in the photos. But yeah, this is what it turned out to be like. It's super cool. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. <music> then I'm just doing my lip and my whiskers whisker holes that I the camera cut out on again and I'm not even in the screen but I basically just filled my upper lip with black paint and then it curved out the lines again to make almost like a smile and then just made dots over top you can see my leopard tutorial if you wanted to see more depth and how I did the mouth area for that one this is what it looks like and I hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you guys next time love you bye